everyone welcome back or welcome to my channel happy vlogmas day 10 so today is actually sunday as i'm filming this so yesterday i was honestly kind of in the dumps i want today to be a more festive day i don't want to be in a bad mood and i want to have some fun because it's christmas time and i've been having a lot of fun making these videos for you so i'm really hoping that you're enjoying them and today i am actually going to do some christmas baking and then i might edit a video or two and see what else i get up to i do have a lot of christmas presents still to make but slowly but surely i'm getting through them and that's all i have to say right now but I will take you along with me for the day. So I'm gonna make Christmas crack today, which is always a crowd pleaser. I will leave the original recipe linked down below if you're interested, but I feel like this recipe has gotten so popular that a lot of people know what it is, but I think we were one of the first people in my circle at least to find out about it. I actually took it to this potluck I had in high school and a guy in my class loved it so much that he wanted me to send him the recipe so his mom could make it. So it's really good. It's and by no means healthy, but I do have quite a few swaps for ingredients just because as you know, or if you don't know, I try to eat a lot of gluten-free and dairy-free because I just find that makes me feel better. And I've mentioned this before, I also have an autoimmune disease, myasthenia gravis, and that is the main reason why I try to avoid gluten and dairy. But, so these swaps aren't healthy. It just means that the recipe will be both gluten-free and dairy-free, and I think, It'll be vegan as well. So actually the crackers may be questionable, but other than that, it's vegan. So this recipe is four ingredients. So I'm using plant-based butter by Basel. These are sticks of butter, but you can use like any plant-based butter. Just these are easier for baking. And then for the sugar, you usually use brown sugar and you can use brown sugar if you want, but I just tend to like to use coconut sugar. So this is actually the coconut sugar that I get. I don't think it really matters, but I like, I kind of like the taste of coconut sugar and it feels fancier. <laughs> and then for the crackers, so if you aren't gluten free, you can use these crackers saltine crackers, soda biscuit crackers, whatever you call them. That's in the original recipe. But if you are gluten-free, then I use the Simple Mills sea salt crackers. So I'll pop a picture of the box right here in case you don't know what I'm talking about. But these are, these are smaller, but they have sort of like the same taste and you wanna use the sea salt ones, not the other flavored ones. And I get these at Costco, big box. And then for the chocolate on top, I use dairy-free chocolate chips now. This is the last bag of these chocolate chips. They're by Wild Roots. And we used to get them at Costco, but now they don't have them at Costco. So if you know of a good dairy-free vegan chocolate chip that is more bang for your buck in the bag, let me know because now I'm going to be using these ones, Enjoy Life, which these ones are good, but it's a very small bag and it's more expensive than these ones were. So yeah, these ones are good. So I'm going to use a combination of these two. But yeah, let me know which, if you're dairy free, what chocolate chips use and then also i think i'm going to top it off with sprinkles i don't know if sprinkles are vegan or not but if they aren't you can just omit them usually i do but i thought it'd look more festive and here's some sprinkles are sprinkles vegan no they're from dollarama i think they candy are candy cane no no i'm gonna use them no i'm just saying like if 
someone's vegan. Oh, oh. And they want to make it. But these are always optional. But I just think it'll look pretty. Look at those little Christmas trees. But yeah, let's get to baking. I'm recording. <laughs> So this is kind of an early Christmas present because I found it and that reminded me when Wait, you... come in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> um, this reminded oh. me I found that when I was shopping uh -huh. and they're vegan. So I didn't know if you wanted to crush some of them up like... Ooh. Okay, we'll use some of those then. So it's an early Christmas present. Thank you. You walked right past them at Whole Foods and I'd already bought them at Healthy Planet. Well, I seen them and then I thought they looked good. There's more sugar than you'd like, but I just thought. So they're vegan, kosher, gluten-free, organic, non-GMO, colored with real fruit and vegetable juice, ju juices. <laughs> <laughs> Manufactured and packaged in a peanut and tree nut free facility made without soy, egg, dairy, fish, shellfish, peanuts or tree nuts, artificial dyes, high fructose corn syrup. So if you have allergies, this is a good one. Happy baking. Thank you. The last thing I wanted to mention is that what you'll be seeing, I am doing half a batch. I usually do that just for myself because my mom and my nanny, they eat dairy, gluten, whatever. So they use those crackers and they use the regular butter but if you want to make a full batch then just double everything and like I said I'll link the full recipe down below.
so we put the crack in the fridge and we have to wait a couple of hours at least before we can break it and I'm excited to taste it and I think it looks really pretty with the little candy cane lollipops that I crushed up and the little sprinkles but now I'm having my lunch so I'm having a quesadilla so what I do with the quesadilla is I put chicken the sauce I put is this cashew based chipotle sauce um, I make it homemade and I got the recipe off of Pinterest so I can leave that down below if you're interested and then I also use the farm boy vegan mozzarella and then I have some cucumbers with everything bagel seasoning and then I got some carrots and I'm gonna dip the carrots in my favorite hummus this is roasted garlic mm. I've got like half of it already eaten and I opened it yesterday so that's how much I love hummus, but yeah, I am going to eat my lunch, maybe watch a vlogmas, and then I will probably edit some of my videos for vlogmas. So, I just made myself a latte in my new mug, and I made a latte like I said, and I've just been editing the vlogmas videos and I have one more to do. I also have to make some chicken salad because I'm making some sandwiches for my uncle and I for tomorrow when I go to the hospital for my appointments. So yeah, that's what I have planned for this afternoon. It's snowing. It's actually supposed to freeze rain, so hopefully it'll be okay for tomorrow, but it looks pretty just got a surprise package in the mail you should have seen my mom she's laughing at me because i was squealing when the delivery guy came so it says it's from amazon and so i don't know what it is what it is oh it's wrapped that is so so cute so it says Dear Becky, I hope you enjoy this book. Wishing you and your family a joyful holiday season from Terry. I don't know if you can see that. So thank you so much, Terry. And look at it. This is so cute. Never gotten something wrapped before. And purple is my favorite color. So let's see what book she got me. Ooh, and it's wrapped again. So here's the note again. So I can put this note in the book. And look at that. Amazon stickers. Maybe I'll save some of those stickers for my scrapbooking slash art journal. I really don't know what to call it. Ooh. Okay, so this book, so I watch a booktuber, uh, Books with Chloe is her name, and this is one of her favorite books. So it's called Girls of Paper and Fire. So on the back of it, it says, In my land, we're known as paper girls, easily torn, existing only for others to use and discard. But there's something they've all forgotten about paper, and it can light the world on fire and make it burn. So I feel like this is going to be like a girl empowerment sort of story and I think there's also a bit of a love story in there too so thank you so much Terry for sending me this book and I am very excited to read this. So somebody asked if my nanny is my grandmother or if nanny means hired help. She is my grandmother. And I don't get paid. <laughs> I mean look at the family resemblance. <laughs>
dinner and we watched a Christmas movie and that one was actually pretty good. Yesterday we tried to watch two Christmas movies and the three of us all couldn't get through either one of them. Like we were we watched the first one for about 45 minutes and I was on my phone like none of us were like interested. And then the second one it was just very dragged out so we didn't end up finishing it. So the one we watched tonight was actually pretty good so yeah we watched that and then I made the chicken salad for our sandwiches tomorrow to go to the hospital and then we broke up the crack and I'm gonna have some later and now I think I'm just going to relax I'm actually feeling pretty tired from the day and I've done quite a lot today I baked I edited two videos I made chicken salad <laughs> I I did I did quite a bit today so I'm pretty tired but I am actually in the mood to do some reading so I think I'm just going to watch some videos and then get into reading my book. I'm still reading the same books as I mentioned the last time but I am hoping to get through those so I can start some of my new ones and yeah, I just have to get back into it, back into the habit. My brain's starting to feel a little bit better, a little less foggy and soupy, so <laughs> hopefully that helps for the reading because I really do enjoy reading. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, give it a like and, and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already so you don't miss out on any other videos. And I will see you tomorrow in the next one.